So with regards to sort of the programmatic world in the UK right now, um, we've seen phenomenal growth in what I'd call the sort of the digital video world over the last sort of three or four years and um, pretty widespread adoption now of, of programmatic trading. Um, and you know, we, we see a good percentage of that across the UK marketplace today. What's, what's interesting though is obviously what's now going on in kind of more of the traditional TV world uh, and kind of the linear addressable world that's starting to change. Uh, we've obviously got players like Sky in the UK who have addressable products now for TV. And we're starting to see a lot of the other major players um, look at what their options could be in this space. So it's a, it's a fascinating time right now as we see the sort of IP delivered worlds merging with those kind of more linear addressable worlds. Uh, and obviously as a platform company operating in that space is incredibly exciting. So how about um, programmatic when it comes to the linear um, at home big screen? Um, you mentioned Sky Ad Smart technology mm -hmm. there. Um, does, does a market the size of the UK make it relatively easy to roll up programmatic TV because it's a relatively small, compact market with, with a few players, unlike the, the very patchwork US market, for example? Yeah, I think with the UK, there are two things that are uh, very different to the US market for, for sort of programmatic addressable TV. Um, I think the first thing is that it is a very, very much more a concentrated marketplace. So you have, you have fewer MVPDs and so obviously it's far more concentrated in terms of the players in the marketplace. Uh, which means, you know, clearly that each, each and every one of those players like Sky and BT are sort of in a, in a race to get the, uh, the ultimate product out there. Um, it doesn't also mean that participation across the ecosystem is a little bit harder, right, because of that inherent concentration and competition. Um, that said, we do see that the players are moving quickly, that there is lots of competition, which is obviously um, a good thing. And just from my own personal perspective, I see a lot of innovation and forward thinking from certainly the buying community in terms of how they're pushing these sort of platforms with with the various operators. So I think the, the stage is very much set for innovation and I think the next year or so is really where we're going to start seeing it happen. A uh, type of example of some of the work that we're doing that's, that's pretty interesting right now would be using um, first party data that we've got from, uh, in this instance, um, say a telecommunications company that knows uh, who is a customer, um, what kind of products they have, um, and then who's a prospective customer of future products and essentially dynamically serving the right message in front of those users um, using, using our video advertising platform. And um, we've seen pretty sort of tremendous results from that um, and continued investment. And it really, for us that's interesting because, you know, it's primarily obviously video tends to be used as a branding and attitudinal uh, medium. Um, and in this instance, we're seeing actually great results from an ROI perspective in terms of actually driving product sales. So CAN, I think, has traditionally obviously been uh, where we've seen the creative world assemble and bring together great ideas and, and show off great work. It's obviously in recent years become much more of a destination for the media world and media community. And with the media world follows the technology world. And I think certainly we've seen in the last two or three years, you know, a lot of the conversation has been dominated now by how technology is changing advertising. Um, I, I think there's been some criticism of that and you know, how technology is, is sort of potentially impacting the creativity of awards festivals like Cannes. I'd actually say, I argue the opposite. I think there's a huge amount of technology creativity that's happening that is actually just infusing advertising with all kinds of great ideas at the moment. So you know, I think it's actually great that we're seeing this meeting of, of the minds happening now at this, that kind of global stage.